got into computers really, but I would I would be fascinated by. I remember my mom had a chain and I and I and I cut the chain up into little cubes. She was not happy or pleased with that because I thought maybe I could you know relink the chain, right? Deconstruction for reconstruction, right? You break things apart in order to see the individual pieces, the individual components, as you break it apart so that you can reverse engineer it, so that you can rebuild it. That's what this is, right? I want to start with the conclusion and work my way back to line number one because for me this is part of my process. I start from the most, from the conclusion, from a deconstructed state to reconstruct the argument. That's just my approach. So reverse engineering this argument, we realize, top of page six, that the second line in the argument must be Right? So if it's therefore water is not conserved, we recognize that this is also a negation. Since this talks about conservation, this has to talk about the amount of water in the water table. It has to. And that, it's important that you see that, right? So that the second line in the argument must be not being. Water is not being stored in the water table. Right? So now I'm going to erase this so that... Again, we are identifying the negation. We recognize the relationship between conservation, which is represented by A. Conservation is, as I just drew in the image, related to the amount of water quantity that remains. You can't talk about conservation if that quantity dwindles. Conservation means that it's being maintained or it's increasing. So that we recognize B has to be the negation of that quantity, meaning that it's it's not being conserved, right? So the conclusion we have to arrive at is water is not stored in the water table, right? Water is not stored in the water table, right? So water is not being stored in the water table. So, so far, so good, right? We have only three lines in this um, rule of inference, and we've done two of the three lines by what I call reverse engineering, starting with a conclusion and working our way back to the premise. We only have one more line to do, and then we've at, fleshed out the words. The reason why this is important prior to writing the paragraph is so that you know what this means. You need to know what this means. If you just start trying to write the paragraph, this is, this is precisely why you begin with the logic. What, what I'm going to say in this next paragraph what I'm going to say in this next section, when I fully flesh it out and formalize it in terms of in terms of speech, what do each component, what does rather, each component part mean? Begin with the conclusion, that's my approach, you can begin anywhere, but I begin with the conclusion and I spell out what each part means. So again, analyzing the form of the argument, step one, right beneath, therefore water is not conserved, therefore water is not conserved. Step two, water is not stored in the water table. Water is not stored in the water table. And then step one, if, if, remember, if then, if water is conserved, remember, right? If we get rid of this not, if we get rid of this negation, we have exactly the same thing. If you get rid of this negation, you have exactly the same thing. This negation means not. So if you get rid of this negation, you get rid of this not, you have water is conserved. Thus, this has to be water is conserved, right? So we've demonstrated the coherence and consistency. That's important, right? This is this is why I wanted to do it, to show you how it's done, right? So, so we recognize that the condition was always if then. So it's if water, if water is conserved, water is conserved, Then, if water is conserved, then, well, it would just be this, right? Same thing. Get rid of the negation. This B and this B are exactly the same once I get rid of this negation. What does this say without the negation? It says water is stored in the water table. We have exactly the same thing. Then, water is stored in the water table, right? So we just add that exact same thing. Then, exact same sentence, right? Uh, water is uh, stored in the water table. And we've reverse engineered our argument, right? We've 
we've, we've now added something new to the argument. This truly is something new for the argument. We began in section one with a logical relationship using and appropriating modus um, polens, ponens, modus ponens, polens would be like ponens and tolens combined, but we um, appropriated modus ponens to the idea of water conservation and we've constructed something new. This also speaks to water conservation, but rather than appropriating modus ponens to the idea of water conservation, we've used a new rule of inference, modus tollens. We've recognized in the first section the phrase derived from and inherently seen that we can expand on the point of the relationship between conservation and the actual amount of water in the water table. And I drew that picture. We then appropriated this idea to expand on that piece that we pulled out and now we're going to construct the argument now. Now we can construct the argument, right? So what does it look like? If water is conserved, then water is stored in the water table. Water is not stored in the water table. Therefore, water is not conserved. That's what we have now. Granted, if you write, write it like that in your paper, it might sound really, really boring and dry. So you put in some transition terms and such, and that's what we're going to do. But once we get this, we have an idea of how to expand this, right? It's exactly the same concept. Now we can start expanding it, expanding it, expand it as we did in the last section. From here on out, it'll be easy. To get to this point was the really difficult part, because you had to recognize the relationships and also the rules of inference, what they spoke to, right? What does this mean? What does this mean? What's the relationship between parts and such? Okay, so the final step, step three, is recognizing how we ultimately formulate our argument in affirming the positive relation of the two properties. How do we affirm the positive relation? Well, simple. We recognize the negative relationship. We got rid of the negation. And we just basically copied and pasted what everything except for therefore and not for each part. I mean, that was that's, to keep it funky, that's sort of what we did. All right, so the final step, step three, is recognizing how we ultimately formulate our argument in affirming the positive relation of the two properties already linked, that is, water conservation A and the water table B. Now, intuitively explaining this, right? For me, starting with the conclusion, since it is a negation of the first part of the rule of inference, part one becomes the first step, but this is only my approach. Again, you might start from a different part, it doesn't really matter, There's, and you don't have to use this formula every single time, but it was my approach. You can begin at any point of the argument and re-engineer the argument from that point. What matters is making sure to identify each part of the argument which looks like this. So now, I want to be very, very clear. I'm going to rewrite this and identify the parts, just as another level of explanation, right? If, if you sort of got what I said before, you should really get what I'm about to do now, because we're going to talk again about modus, right? We're again going to talk about modus tollens, and it says if A, then B, not B, therefore not A. Now, what we're going to do is look at each part. Part one, right? So now we're going to do parts. Part one is the affirmation of, well, what position is it in? The antecedent position. This is antecedent, this is a consequence. Affirmation of the antecedent. A and T. C E D E M T. So this is part one, right? The affirmation of the antecedent. Then part two is the. These are the parts to modus tollens. Part two is the affirmation. R. Affirmation of the consequence. So you affirm an antecedent. You affirm a consequence, part three is going to be the denial, the denial, this is the denial, 
the negation is the denial, the denial of your consequence.